no one of us wants to live just half a life. We all want to live a full life. So that you are able to live your life fully. Take a moment now and think about the main contradiction in your life. And all these contradictions are indicators for a wall you have built around you. And now consider what could be the main wall in my life. Is it an emotional wall? Is it a job wall? A relationship wall? A leave me alone wall? Or did you wall your partner in? So here is the method. Face the contradictions in yourself, recognize there is a wall, and then tear it down, brick by brick. We have five bricks to tear down a wall. For example, brick one, speak and act with integrity. Brick two, don't take place in someone else's bad day. Means we can't take all the negativity of others personally. And brick five is be the best you by giving your best to others. You know, we Germans are specialists for building walls. Right here used to be the Berlin Wall. And the Germans tore it down overnight. If you had been there on this incredible night, the night when Berlin suddenly exploded from captivity, then you would have felt as I did, emotions you would remember for a lifetime. It was not only that the Berlin Wall broke down externally, millions of people were able to tear down their own walls inside themselves. All the ideas they had about life, work, politics, culture, society, on both sides of the wall, they were able to tear them down in one moment. Would you believe? Days, even hours before, no one would have dreamt it was possible. That means we all can tear down our personal walls in one moment. Of course, before we can do that, there has to be a process we have to go through. But if the time is right, we all can tear down our walls in one moment. And when the wall is down, you can build with these old bricks whatever you want, something where you really want to live in. I have observed that everything in life is full of contradictions. My country, Germany, is an interesting example for these contradictions. How can a nation like Germany produce a divine musician like Beethoven and a tyrant like Hitler? But as we know, Germany is not only the land of classical music, philosophy and art. Germany is also the land of Hitler and Auschwitz. The highly cultured nation of Germany descended to the level of utmost barbarism. And after this hellish war, the contradictions in Germany continued. Now came the division of the country. Communism and capitalism side by side in one single country. And the crucible of this conflict, a divided Berlin. A wall was built through the middle of my beloved city. And for 30 years, it separated two worlds. I personally come from the side of communism. The Stasi, the Staatssicherheit, the state security service was everywhere. Everyone knew that anything they said, whether to friends, to family or at work, was potentially observed and could be punished. The clock we saw on our East German TV channel had dots between the numbers. The West German clock had dashes. I remember that in kindergarten, when I was maybe five years old, some men came to ask the kids if the clock we saw on TV had dots or dashes between the numbers. As a child, I could only answer honestly that the clock I saw had dashes on it. The next thing I knew, I was standing before my fearful parents being asked why I publicly said that we are watching forbidden TV channels from West Germany. I was five. How was I supposed to know? After the wall fell, it was possible to examine the records of the Stasi. I found out that there had been 28 informants enlisted against me. Some of them were my closest friends and even my family. If you have seen the Oscar-winning movie, The Lives of Others, then you have seen a small glimpse of my life. This was my story. 
like it was the story of millions of East Germans. As a speaker on stage, to make my message comprehensible, I use powerful examples from the present and the history. Especially from Germany and Berlin, where I have been living for 30 years. And as an actress, I stimulate deep emotions with movie clips, music and theatre skills. How can we still believe in something great, in the greatness of man? If we are ready to face the shadows that our history casts, as I did with my Stasi experiences, otherwise I wouldn't be here, or as some nations are beginning to do right now with their history, if we are ready to see and humbly accept all our blame, all our shortcomings, then a new opportunity arises. Upon the ruins of our past, we have the chance to build a new conscience. A conscience that is more clear, more radical, because it has seen the depth of the utmost guilt. The same nation that has invaded its neighbors twice in the last century received the nations of the world in a very touching way. A time to make friends was more than a slogan for this tournament. And once, where the Berlin Wall stood, there were giant screens for everyone to watch the game. All the other nations were able to tear down their own walls, their preconception they had about us, as they saw us overcoming our own contradictions that have haunted us as a nation for too long. If we all take responsibility for the contradictions in ourselves, if we are courageous enough not to hide our dark sides, if we push through them and discover our light, then something new, something great can evolve. By tearing down our walls, brick by brick, or with a sledgehammer, we can liberate our highest potential. That's why we are here. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that frightens us. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. So, face your contradictions, tear down your walls, light up your potential, live your life fully, and enjoy it. Thank you very much.